Welcome to Dragon Horde Gaming, and here is part two of my mystery booster box opening. All right. Well, if you guys are, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I enjoy opening the product. A Theraben Standard Bear, Looming Ultrasaur, Uncomfortable Chill. Counterspell, Lesotep Behemoth, Seal of Doom, Forge Devil, Krinko's Command, Shape the Sands, Acronus Web, and uh, Grim Contest for our multicolor, a Arcane Sanctum for our colorless. And then we got a Harkon Stormglad Scourge. Cost three, a generic and two black. Uh, you may play Harkon Stormgold Scourge from your graveyard, but not from anywhere else. As long as Harkon is in play, you may play night cards from your graveyard. When Harkon is put into a graveyard from play, you lose two life. That's one commander there for you. All right. Nin, the pain artist. Cost a blue and red. Uh, pay X in the blue and red. Tap. Nin, the pain artist, deals X damage to target creature. That creature's controller draws X cards. All right. And we got a goblin bushwhacker. Uh, from Zendikar, I think. All right. Seems kind of strange that they would put two of the Planeswalk original Planeswalker deck commanders in this and yeah. All right. Abzan Runemark, Paddling a Bloodstain, the Fuddle. Tandem Lookout, Varashka's Finisher, Gurmog Angler, Foundry Street Didison, Seismic Stomp, Kintry Warden, Bitter Blow Sharpshooters, A Corpse Jack Menace for the multicolor, Breaker of Armies for our colorless, and then we got a Sadistic Hypnotist. For an uh, older border card, we got Living Death. Uh, cost five, three generic, two black. Each player exiles all creature cards from his or her graveyard, then sacrifices all creatures he or she controls, then puts all cards he or she exiled this way into the battlefield. And then we got a Secure Tribe Scout. Uh, oh, nice. You may put a land card from your hand into play. Okay. Okay, we got a soul summons. Uh, these cards are sliding everywhere. Slash of Talons. Cloudkin Seer, Court Hassar, Dead Eye Tormentor, Executioner's Capsule. Looks like a commander card. Generator Servant, Tar Fire, Thrive. Okay. Lay of the Land. Our, and we got a Draconic Disciple. Our colorless is Juggernaut. And our first card, uh, Symbol of the Legion for our first rare. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a muster counter on a Symbol of the Legion. Then put a 1-1 one, one red and white soldier creature token with haste into the battlefield for each muster counter on a Symbol of the Legion. And then we got 
Amanatu's Augury. Costs 8, 6 generic, 2 blue. Excel the top 8 cards of your library. You may put a leh and card from among them into the battlefield. Tell them to turn for each non land card type. You may cast a card of that type from among the exiled cards without paying its mana cost. And we got a foil blighted agent. Okay, unblockable infect creature. How nice. Come on, please open. There we go. Court Street Didison from the Kira versus Elspeth dual deck. Emerged unscathed. Glint. Storm Sculpture. Blade Band. Animate Dead. Stagger Shock. Lightning Shrieker, Destructo Dragon, Tor Destructor Dragon, Guardian Shield Bearer, Reflector Mage. Well, this is the first time I've seen a card here that I know has been banned at one time or another. A Messi's Tome, and then on to. Ooh, Crufix, Gods of Horizon. We got a mythic there, nice. Costs five, three generic, a green, and a blue. Indestructible, as long as your devotion to green and blue is less than seven. Crufix isn't a creature. You have no maximum hand size. If unused mana would empty from your mana pool, that mana becomes colorless instead. And a gen of wishes. Costs five, three generic, two blue. Flying, Jen of Witches, Wishes, enters the battlefield with three wish counters on it. Pay four, two generic and two blue. Remove a wish counter from Jen of Witches. Reveal the top card of your library. You must play that card without paying its mana cost. If you do, don't exile it. And a foil one with nothing. And a... Wait, what? Oh. Sorry. I was just being a dork. Forgive me. Alright, not much left. So far, I haven't seen anything here that really screams a lot of money, but then I don't know what the value is of quite a few of these things. Uh, Gus Cloak Shimmer. Sk uh, skirmisher. Guided Strike. Gurgmog Drowner, Phantasmal Bear, Bone Splinters, Invicar's Justice, Built to Smash, Flame Tongue Kavu, I think Kavu, Ravenous Lurkrakata, ah. Lurkrakata. Yeah, I'm not going to try that again. The crowd goes wild. Uh, multicolor is armament crop. Oops. Then we got a bone saw. And then we got a Karen Wanderer. Uh, cost five. Four generic and a black. Changeling. As long as the creature card with flying is in a graveyard, Karen Wanderer has flying. The same is true for Fear, First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Land Walk, Life Link, Protection, Reach, Trample, Shroud, and Vigilance. All right, and then we have Teferi, Temporal Archmage. That is for Planeswalkers now. I think... Uh... Got a green, a red, blue, black. We only needed a white, so. And then we. Uh, Teferi, Temporal Archmage, cost six, four generic, two blue. Look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, the other in the bottom of your library. Uh, minus one loyalty, untap up to four target permanents. Minus ten, you get an emblem with 
you may activate loyalty abilities of planeswalkers you control on any player's turn anytime you could cast it an instant and we got a foil harmonic sliver alright Lone Missionary, Benevolent Ancestor, Trinket Mage, Prosperitous Pirates, Reassembling Skeleton, Spreading Rot, Clin Fiend, Fierce Invocation, Ancestral Mark. Ooh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but colors fluctuating on my screen for some reason. Aggressive Instinct. Yep, this is from those uh, Chinese Planeswalker decks. Uh, Abzan Guide. Bottled Gnomes. And then we got Eater of Days. Cost 4, Flying Trample. When Eater of Days comes into play, you skip your next two turns. Huh. That's mean. Angel of the Dire Hour. Cost 7. 5 generic, 2 white. Flash, flying. When Angel of Dire Hour enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, exile all attacking creatures. Okay. And our foil is... A Spell Tithe Enforcer. It looks like it's from uh, the original Ravnica block. Cost 5. 3 generic, 2 white. Whenever an opponent plays a spell that player sacrifices a permanent, unless he or she pays one. Alright. Wing shards. Bless spirits. Amass the components. Horseshoe Crab. Revenant. Go for the Throat. Smelt. Roast. Feral Prowler. Elves of Deep Shadow. Agony Warp for our multicolor. Peace Strider for our colorless. And a Mistform Shrieker for an old border. Uh, it's an uncommon. And then we have Yuriko Tiger Shadow. Ooh, that's in the wrong pile. Uh, cost three, generic, a blue and a black. Command Ninjutsu for a blue and a black. Whenever a ninja you control deals combat damage to a player, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. Each opponent loses life equal to that card's converted mana cost. Uh, Norn's Annex is a rare. Uh, cost 5, 3 generic, and 2 Phyrexian white mana. Creatures can't attack you or a Planeswalker you control unless their controller pays uh, Phyrexian white mana for each of those creatures. Alright. Three packs left. Alright. Aerobatic Maneuver. Heavy Infantry. Turn aside. Negate. Throw Thorn Bow Archer, March of the Drown, Gutter Snipe, Prophetic Ravings, Imprenumble Spider, Canopy Spider, I swear there's themes going on here, River Hoopo for our multicolor, Thran da Dynamo for our colorless, Tinkerer. For our alternate, our old border, uh, it's an uncommon. Uh, 
Okay, that's a pretty decent card. Of uh, Whirl of Invention. I swear there's freaking themes with this deck here. These packs. Uh, pay X and 3 blue. Improvise. Uh, search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it into the battlefield, then shuffle your library. And then we got a foil rare. We, it's uh, Nephilim. Uh, your Teller Nephilim. Costs one white, blue, black, and red. When your Tiller Nephilim attacks, return target creature card from your graveyard to play tapped and attacking. Okay. Two packs left. Eddie Tail Hawk. Exultant Sky March. Marcher. Tidal Warrior. Secrets of the Golden City. Touch of Moon Glove. Queen's Agent. Hammer Hand. Defiant Ogre. Thornhide Wolves. Relic Crush. Bear's Companion for our multicolor. Herald's Horn for our colorless. Bear Cub. We got ourselves a really old one here. Uh, from Portal, I think is what it was. Uh, I'm not too sure. And then we have Felidar Sovereign. Uh, cost 6 for generic 2 white. Vigilance, lifelink. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 40 more life, you win the game. Right. And then we got Wall of Shards. And it is a uncommon. Alright. Oh, knocking over piles here. Last pack. Alright. When we're done with this one, let's go through the rares and see how many mythics we got. Glint Sleeve Artisan. Angel of Mercy. Treasure Mage, and got another one of these mages. Mana War, Weight of the Underworld, Fester Creep, Keldon Harbinger, Summit Prowler, Search for Tomorrow, Croson Tusker, Esper Charm, Guardians of Melodus. Uh, Ancient Den. It's an artifact land. Okay. And then we have a coveted jewel for our rare here. Uh, uh, cost six. When coveted jewel enters the battlefield, draw three cards. Tap. Add three mana to a Venim. One color. Whenever one or more creatures and opponent controls attacks you and aren't blocked, that player draws three cards and gains control of Covenant Jewel. Untap it. And then we got a foil amulet of vigor. Okay. That's nice. I was hoping to get one of those. Alright. Cost one. Whenever a permanent enters the battlefield tapped and under your control, untap it. Alright. That's pretty cool. Got a lot of good cards here. So, Foil Rares. That's a Command card. And that. Foil Rare. There. Commander. Commander. I'm not exactly sure what that's from. Here's one Mythic. That's from Commander. Here's another mythic. Uh, commander. Gate crash. Let's go put these over here. These are from normal sets. Uh, living death. I think this is from commander. 
That's from Ice Age. Um, here's another mythic. Got Draina. I'm not exactly sure what that's from, but I think it might be from Commander. Yeah, it's it's from Commander. I see. Um, this one's got the Commander thing. Not exactly sure what this one's from. Never seen that one before for an emblem. Um, must be from like a special set because there's only 90 cards in it. So I'll put it in the commander pile. Another mythic. Another mythic. Um, normal sets. Mythic. That's from Commander. I think this is also from a Commander. No. Normal set. No. That's got to be from a Commander set. So we got one, two, three, four planeswalkers. So we got a total of six mythics out of all of that. Uh, I think it was just six mythics. I'd have to go through all of them again and make sure all the foils. It's like I, I traded some cards for those two foil slivers I got, and it's like, oh. Oh, there's a foil rare. There's another foil rare. There's a foil mythic. Mm, uncommon, uncommon. That's a foil rare. That's a foil rare. Alright, we got that stuff. No Rhystic Study, though. Would have loved to have gotten one of them. Oh, there's a rare. I know that's a rare, but it's like... Some of the car, older cards, you can't tell... what their rarity is. There's a rare. Yeah, it, a lot of old cards, a lot of good new cards, and a lot of piles of stuff that I'm not sure. I'm going to have to just go look through them, search online, see what their values are. But I enjoyed opening them. So if you guys enjoyed watching the video, hit that like and share. Don't be afraid to comment, subscribe. And uh, I wish you guys good luck with your pack openings. And uh, goodbye.